Another way you can make your site even more dynamic is by displaying feeds within your website. In this lesson, we're going to find a Twitter display back tool so you can show your actual Twitter feeds on your website. Then we will take the tweets from a specific user and display them in your site. And then we're going to take Twitter feeds from a specific search term and display those in your website. When we get to the extensions directory, let's look through the categories. On the left-hand side, if you scroll down to Social Web, and then from here, click on Social Display, which is in the middle. Then we want Twitter Display. The first option here is a Twitter module called Twitter Show. That's the one we're going to download. It is available for 1.5 and also for 2.5. To download it, we just click on Download. And I'm going to scroll down to get to the 2.5 version, click Download, and click Save. Now I go to the back end of my website, and I will install it. Go to Extensions, Extension Manager, Browse, and I will select mod underscore Twitter show J17 and upload and install. To create this module, go to Extensions and Module Manager, click on New, and select Twitter Show. For the title, I'm going to call it My Tweets. The position, I want 7. I'll make sure 7's in there. Click on Position-7. I want it to show on all pages. On the right-hand side, I have a lot of different options that I can set with this. I'm going to leave them as the defaults for now. But the username, I'm going to put Rytex Sites. That's my Twitter account. And the module type, I will leave it as JavaScript. And then I click Save and Close. Now let's view it on the website. I click on my home page. Click on Home, and if I scroll down on the left-hand side, I can see all of the tweets that were created by Rytex Sites. You can see here all the settings, how it's black and dark gray. All of these pieces can be set specifically inside of the module. Let's say instead of displaying the tweets from a specific user ID, I want to show all tweets about aquariums, for example. So if I go back to the module, and click on My Tweets. For the widget type, instead of Individual Profile, change it to Search. As you scroll down, you can see the shell background, the tweet background. I'm going to change the tweet background to blue. And I'm going to change the link color to yellow, just so you can see the differences. Let's also change the shell color, too. We'll make that a green. If you scroll down, I'm going to change the live results to be yes. And I'm going to leave the scroll bar to no. I'm going to leave the number of tweets to five. And if I scroll down to the bottom, these are the settings for search widget only. In the search query, I type in aquarium. In the search title, I'll put in info about aquariums. In the subject, I'll put in here aquariums. Top tweets, for now I'll leave this as no. Click on Save and Close. Let's go back to the home page. I'll scroll up to the top, click on Home again. Now I'll scroll down. Here are the tweets about aquariums. You can see the colors that I changed. It's a little bright for my taste, but you can see how easy it is to change the colors. We made the links in yellow. We have the green shell and the blue background. In this lesson, we installed a tool that allows us to display Twitter feeds within our website. We then displayed the tool working with tweets from a specific user ID. Then we changed the module so we would show tweets from a specific search term, which we use the word aquarium.